שלום בית ספר ריאלי, מדבר פה המורה קיילי. אני המורה של הכיתה הזאת, כיתה ג', כיתה מעולה. ואנחנו היום מבקרים את מבוצאי, לראות איך שהם באו לכאן ובנו את העיר לפני 150 שנה. שלום ריאלי, אני מורה ויקי. Welcome to our third grade field trip. Okay, and um, I'm Mora Kaley, and I gave a brief introduction on the other side. And Vicky and I are partners. Um, uh, we actually came to Riali School in June together, and we sat next to each other on the bus, and we got to see and appreciate and love your school. Um, we are at the Woodside store today near the Warnet Jewish Day School to learn about the history of our land, our area, right around us. Uh, and we also need to thank Mr. Maller who was behind the camera, who was filming for us, and he's waving hello. And we have a beautiful day. Um, we are two weeks before Purim. Purim. And the weather is really like a very beautiful spring day. It's like Yom Aviv. And we look forward to being in touch with you. We're going this way. Here we go. California looking for gold. They came during the era called the Gold Rush and they had a nickname. What was their nickname? Oh, 49ers. Right. They were called the 49ers because they came in 1848 and 1849 looking for gold. Now the ones who came to Woodside and San Mateo County didn't find much of any gold so they had to find another way to make their living. What they did find were giant redwood trees. So they found out that they could make a living as loggers cutting down those trees. This loggers between five and a half and six feet tall. Look how small he looks next to that big giant tree. After they cut the tree down, they still had to get it out of the forest, down to the lumber mill. So they hitched the tree up to teams of oxen to pull out of the forest. Now the most important person at the Woodside store was the shopkeeper. Each of you will have a chance to be a shopkeeper today. You'll get a list from the adults. They're your customers. You're going to go find the things on the list. One of those things might be rice or beans that you measure on a scale, pour into a canvas bag. Sack flour is what? Where's your chocolate? Right. That's very good. Three pounds of rice. Okay. Three pounds of beans. Okay. So you always have so your numbers. So now you have to total up. Three peas of peas. Another activity is doing wash the old fashioned way. This is where you're going to get buckets. You're going to walk, not run them, over to the drinking fountain faucet and fill them only half full with water and walk back. 
Pour the water in one of the wash tubs. This is our oldest one. You pour the water in, you scrub the clothes, you twist the clothes in your hands to get the water out. I'm done. Hang the clothes I'm done. Is it all the, the water squeezed out? So. You squeeze it with your hands. Don't you have to squeeze it out over there? No, that's a different washing. When you're done, you go dry it and use the uh, clothes pins in that basket and hang it up to dry. Wait, did everyone get a chance to use this? No. 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 We're also going to be making shingles. To make shingles, you need two things. You need this L-shaped instrument. It's called a fro, spelled F-R-O-E. It's sharp. I hold that. You're going to hold the mallet. Pound the mallet down in the middle of the fro to make the shingle. There. Right, the first okay. thing on the shingle, you drop it in a plastic bag. Back to school, your teacher will give you back the shingle you need to keep as your souvenirs coming here. Um, um, washboard, yeah. A washboard. What is, how do people use a washboard? Uh, to wash their clothes. To wash their clothes. Oh. This is a slate, it's like a little blackboard. And you use it to? Mm -hmm. uh, the um, shop keepers use it to um, write the prices of the um, items on it. We have a, like, um, a, something to warm up uh, food. It's a toaster. Yeah. And you found the toaster on top of the? Slot, the stove. Didn't you find yeah. it on top of a stove? Well, yeah. And because people wore their clothes a lot before they washed them, that collar got dirty pretty fast because they did hard work and they would sweat. That's why they kept extra paper or cardboard collars. So once the regular collar got dirty, they buttoned on a paper or cardboard one over it to try to look cleaner. This is called an ice cream churn. Okay, and how does it work? Well, how it works is you turn this. Okay, let's let's tilt it so you can have your classmates see. In the container, in the middle, you put the cream and the sugar. Around the outside, you put ice with rock salt. Okay, we have a rug cleaner. Rug beater. And how does it work? Um, so you hang the rug. And outside. You, outside, and you hit it. So Okay, so you open it up and what do you put in? Oil in the kernel and you put it over the stove. Or hot or a hot fire and, and you shake it. And then all the popcorn yeah. pop. And now we have microwaves. Right. Is that a lot easier? <laughs> yes, it is. Um this is a old fashioned uh, clock or watch. It's a pocket watch. Yeah. And what do you use it for? Uh, to tell time. Shalom Shmi Azaham. Shalom, Shmi Shmuel. Shalom, Shmi Zechariah. Shalom, Ani Binyamin. Shalom, Ani Achel. Shalom, Ani Shalom, Okay, Ani Mike. Shalom, Ani Oda. Shalom, Ani Amy. Shalom, Ani Tami. Shalom, Ani Sifar. Shalom, Shmi Shalom. Shalom, Ani Asher. Shalom, Ani Yaakov. Shalom, Ani Yerah. Shalom, Riali, Ani Yerah. Shalom, Riali, Ani Raphael. Shalom, Riali, Ani Ari. Bye. 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 Shalom.